I had so many thoughts yesterday and a lot of gratitude and a lot of happiness for certain players who got to show off or pay off a vendetta or show that they still got it and I was all about it. And uh, here's just a few of mine. We'll be, of course, unpacking them all week. Uh, there's a new New York, which I love, and everybody's talking about it, but I got to get in on the love fest after the Giants took down the Titans 21 to 20. Such an exciting game, a heartwarming game on such a difficult day, September 11th, for New Yorkers uh, and everyone alike. I cannot say enough about Brian Dable going for two and the win, just showing the faith in his players to go out there and execute. Uh, I mean, look at this. He's celebrating with his team after, even if they lost the game, going for two, trusting Saquon Barkley of all people, so much, someone who feels like he has so much to prove. You're sending a message. You're a first-time head coach. You're saying, this is how I do things. This is how we're going to develop chemistry. I trust you. Go take me there. So had they lost this game, I'd still be saying this. I would be just as excited. Uh, he was given... Daniel Jones, the business on the sideline. I think Giants fans very, 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 very much like that. That interception was disgusting. But he's hugging Shepard, you know, who's a veteran. He's embracing and emotionally spent. And by the way, looking peak form, Saquon Barkley, who had 164 yards on the ground, double Derrick Henry's output of 82 yards. How about that? Most rushing yards Saquon has had in nearly three years. Also leading the team with six catches and another 30 yards through the air, by the way. So he showed how much it means to him, to the team uh, right now. And it means so much that he's feeling 100%. And he's going to win them some games if he can stay healthy. So congrats to the new New York. It's good to see you. And I'm in LA. And that makes me sad because I miss you. All right, a team that I know and love that I knew wouldn't get much love in the headlines today. That one, the Saints. And credit to the Falcons. What a brilliant start. But look out for the Saints offense. They were down big. They were down 26 to 10. And then after coming out of the magical medical blue tent in the fourth quarter, Jameis went crazy. 13 of 16, near perfect for 213 yards and two touchdowns, leading the Saints from a 26 10 deficit to win the game. And, you know, he did it. This entire receiving course stepped up and got rolling. How happy am I for Jarvis Landry? He was seven for 114. Nobody talked about Jarvis Landry going to the Saints. He's going to be a key. He's a veteran. He's a good person for Michael Thomas, who, you know, wants the ball, wants to be his best to perform. Michael Thomas, five for 57, two touchdowns. You can tell he was emotional about it and happy to be back. And somebody I've talked about a lot on this show already, Chris Olave, three for 41. Critical two-point conversion, by the way, to bring New Orleans within a score. So the Saints had one of the weakest receiving cores in the league last year and now it might be one of the strongest Jarvis saying glowing things about Dennis Allen talking about grit what a gritty win keep it going Saints uh okay for my last one yes we can talk about Tyreek Hill we can talk about Devonta Adams having big performances for their new respective teams, but that doesn't mean you can forget about A.J. Brown. This game was so fun. This is my favorite game yesterday, Eagles-Lions. It was such a battle. I love DeAndre Swift. I love Dan Campbell for saying losing by three isn't good enough. That's what he said after the game. The big story was A.J. Brown, though, on the Eagles' side. Uh, you know, don't forget about what he can do for an offense. He had pretty much all of their work. He had 10 catches for 155 yards, accounting for 64% of Jalen Hurts' passing yards. He sparked this Eagles passing attack in a big way. I really do think just his presence makes them so much more dangerous this season. And Devontae Smith, of course, will get some, some looks here as we go on. But the passing game was such a struggle at points last year. So with a true number one that can make game-changing plays, I really feel like we can see the Eagles emerge as a contender. I was called my shot. They win the East, uh, and they get it done because of A.J. Brown's presence, what he does for that passing game, and what he does for the confidence of Jalen Hurts, who was incredible yesterday, and just I probably ran a little bit too much for my comfort, for my prediction. So we'll see about that. Those are my three takeaways. I want to know what yours is. Hit us up at Up and Adam.